Have you ever saved a ton of podcasts or educational videos on YouTube, but then never had the time to actually sit down and watch them all? <sighs> You're not alone. That's exactly the problem we're solving today. With the workflow I'm about to show you, you'll be able to automatically transcribe your favorite YouTube playlist, generate AI-powered summaries, and organize everything neatly into Google Sheets. No more wasted hours, just clear, structured insights at your fingertips. Before we dive into each step, I highly recommend watching the entire video. Not only will I give you this workflow completely free, but you'll also gain the knowledge to set it up yourself or even customize it to better fit your needs. Here's the big picture of how the workflow works. First, it fetches all the videos from your chosen YouTube playlist. Then it extracts each video's title, URL, and ID. Next, it grabs the transcript of every video or podcast episode. After that, it combines those transcripts into a clean, organized script. Then, it sends the script to an AI to generate a detailed summary. Finally, it saves all the information, title, transcript, and summary into a Google Sheet. Sounds simple, right? Let's break it down node by node. This isn't an advertisement. I strongly recommend subscribing to the N8N platform if you want to schedule the workflow to run automatically at specific times without needing to keep your PC turned on. With a subscription, your summaries can be generated daily, even when your PC is off or you're not actively using it. This is because the local host version depends on your PC being on. It won't run scheduled tasks if your computer is off, even if you set a time trigger. If you'd like to support my channel, you can find the link in the description. Now let's get started with the first node. First up is the manual trigger node or schedule trigger. This is like the start button for our workflow. Next, we have the YouTube playlist node. This pulls all the videos from a playlist you choose. Add your credentials. It is pretty similar to the setup in the previous video. Then select resource, playlist item and operation, get all. In the playlist name or ID, add the name of the playlist from which you want to get the summaries. Keep the fields as in the main setup. You will see all the data from the playlist on the right side. We are going to use it later. Great. Now we need to extract the video titles and URLs. That's where the title slash URL node comes in. It cleans up the playlist data and gives us a neat list of video titles and direct YouTube links. This is a function node that runs JavaScript. Copy in the provided code from my workflow. It loops through each playlist item, extracts the video ID, creates a full YouTube URL, and assigns an ID number for each row in Google Sheets. Next is the video ID node. YouTube transcripts need the raw video ID, so this node extracts it cleanly from the URL. Now, we're going to handle each video one by one, the split out and loop. Over items nodes break the list of videos into separate items so N8N can process each video's transcript individually. Add a split out node to separate ID, video ID, title. Then add a split in batches, loop over items node. This tells N8N, process one video at a time, then move on to the next. Without this, N8N might get confused trying to fetch multiple transcripts at once. Now comes the magic getting the transcript. This node calls the Supadata API and returns the transcript text for each video. Set the request method to GET so we can retrieve the video subtitles. In the URL, just add the same one that I use. The green part refers to the video ID that we obtained earlier. To add the API, follow these simple steps. Just type supadata.ai and then sign in you will see the API right away. Next, we need to combine those transcript chunks into one big readable script. The SERPT node loops through all the transcript segments and merges them into a single text block. Now, we have the full episode text ready for AI. Sometimes transcripts are too long. That's why we add the code one node. It grabs the first few sentences, so the AI can start summarizing with focus. You can remove this node, but you need to add an AI that can handle long scripts or split the script into parts to improve your results, then merge them again. 
The Grok version here is 100% free but limited, so keep that in mind when using it for long videos. If you need it, just DM me and I can make it especially for you. Here's where AI steps in. The Grok chat model processes the text, and the AI agent node creates a structured summary. Add the Grok chat model node and choose your AI model, in this case, Llama 3.1-8B instant, which is the free one. Inside the AI agent, paste the custom prompt explaining how the AI should organize the summary and what it should focus on when writing it. I recommend using a prompt optimized for your specific needs. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And finally, everything goes into Google Sheets. This node logs the video title, transcript, summary, and row number, so you can always find them later. Choose the operation. Update. Connect your Google account credentials, just like in the previous video. Then, pick your spreadsheet and sheet name. You will use that name in the Google Sheets node to save the data. In Values to Update, simply drag and drop each value into the appropriate field. This is for the Google Sheets uploader. Now, every time the workflow runs, your sheet will be automatically updated. If you want to download the workflow, you will find it in the description. And that's it. In just a few steps, we built a workflow that automatically creates summaries for you. If you found this helpful, please give me a like and subscribe.